Hey Collective, today we're going to do a quick energy check-in to see if we can get some messages to my returning subscribers. Welcome back and to anybody who's new here, thank you for joining us today. So we are just going to go ahead and hop right into the reading and see if we can get some messages. I hope everybody's doing well. So the first card out is Clarity. This says truth, intentions, honesty. So there's something that could be coming to light around some situation where there's been some confusion. There could be some photo evidence that's coming out because there's a picture of a camera on this card. Whatever this has to do with could be something to do with the past um, because there is, this camera looks really old. There's also something here about loss, grief, or depression. So somebody could be in sorrow around this situation. And a card fell on the floor, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. Divine Feminine. So this message is going to have something to do with the Divine Feminine, or this message, if you are a Divine Feminine, you're the person that I'm speaking to. This looks like someone, there we go. This looks like someone is in sorrow around a divine feminine. Like there's somebody who's getting clarity around your energy and they're feeling loss or grief or something where they're seeing the truth about a situation where they could have been confused before. Oh, wow. And divine masculine has come out. So... This message is about a divine feminine and divine masculine. There's something where, let's see what else. This divine masculine, it looks like they're in sorrow around the feminine having boundaries. You could have drawn a line with this person because they were being shallow. Whoever this person is, they are um, someone who's very empty. They could have made decisions based off of boredom. And they could be seeing that. There, there's also something here where somebody could be seeing... Um, there's something about secrets. And a mystery or something being hidden that's coming to light. So what this looks like is there's a masculine here who is in some sort of regret around a feminine having boundaries and they feel like they're waiting for something. They're waiting for a curse to end, for a cycle to end. This person could be in a negative mindset. They could be dealing with somebody who's very shallow. There's an emotional storm that's coming. There's something about after this storm, there's a bunch of possibilities that are going to be coming to light. So this could be somebody who did a lot of thrill, <laughs> thrill seeking, or they could have been involved in, hmm. This looks like somebody who was involved in something where they were worried about having a good time or doing something where they were behaving in a very shallow way. And it looks like you put up boundaries and this person is wondering what it is that you're hiding from them because of these boundaries. Whoever this is, they're at a place of realizing the, the value of you and realizing how they, they're being honest with themselves now and realizing that they lost you because of the way that they behaved. They're waiting for some cycle to end, or there's something about time here where um, everyone is waiting, so waiting for a cycle to close. During this time, this person could be longing for you or missing you or wanting to talk to you, and whoever this is, they're at their breaking point. They're at the place of they feel overwhelmed. They've hit some sort of a final straw. They are longing for you and they they want to talk to you so this person is about to come towards you whoever this is you could be seeing this person very clear at this time this could be something where you see this masculine as somebody who's very shallow and that's the reason that there's boundaries here this could be somebody 
where you and this person are mirroring each other. This is someone that you could have a family with. Parenthood is here, so you could have children with this person. And whatever's happening, this person's about to go through some sort of um, emotional turmoil or storm or something is going to happen and it's going to cause a release and healing and there's going to be a, a realization that happens with whatever it is that's going on. This person could have been in very lustful energy and... They could have been somebody who hid a lot of things from you or did something in secret where they were chasing a excitement or a good time. And now they feel like behaving in this way is something that's caused them hopelessness. And they could be daydreaming or fantasizing about coming together with you. There's something about them reminiscing on something regarding you and them in the past. They could be looking at pictures. They could be thinking about you a lot. They could be at a place where they're wanting to establish some sort of a foundation with you in order to have security, to have a new beginning. This is someone who you've had a lot of karmic lessons with this person. You could have had a past life with them. There's something about a repeated pattern. So this is something that somebody could have done to you more than once, whatever situation you're in with them now. And you could be exhausted by this. You feel like this has been a very long journey and you could feel depleted or drained by whatever is going on because this is something that's repeated itself a lot. Um, this person could be being influenced by um, their peers or outside people that don't have anything to do with you and them. They, they could be talking to people who don't even know you. They're getting some sort of <laughs> guidance from a third party or something that they have an attachment to is the thing that's guiding them. It looks like they're spying a lot on you at this time. And this is someone who is um, trying to find ways to get information on you because you're not speaking to them. Whatever they did in this situation to walk away from you or whatever problem they caused, they were bluffing. This is somebody who wears a mask and they're exaggerating. Um, they could feel abandoned at this time or left out. And it looks like this person just wants you, whoever this is, and they're coming into a realization right now where they're realizing that they only want to be with you, and they're getting a better perspective on whatever the situation has to do with. This is somebody who could be your twin. This is someone who's marrying you. Whoever this is, there's feelings that are shared here. <laughs> whoever this is is reflecting on you. They're doing something now where they see you and they feel like they've lost something, and they could be <laughs> they could be afraid of where this is going that you may never forgive them that this, this is something that um, it's like they are seeing why you're not speaking to them why you have boundaries up and they're coming to some sort of realization that if you never spoke to them again that this is something that they would deserve so they're also dreaming about you but they are feeling very hopeless So however this is that was in this shallow energy, they're feeling really, really confused about um, whatever's going on. From the way that this looks, this looks like the Divine Masculine is having some sort of um, breakthrough or they're realizing something right now. Something that's been hidden from them regarding their behavior or regarding a negative mindset or something that they, it's like they curse themselves with whatever this is. It's like that's being revealed to them and they're waiting now for something and looking at the past and looking at everything that's going on. They could be crying over you. This person is someone who is in desperate need of going through um, a release or cleansing their energy, but there's healing here that needs to happen in order for them to have a full realization or have an epiphany or to go through an awakening about their behavior and about lusting after something so whatever they were doing it's like they were behaving in a way that 
They were operating out of a, a low vibrational energy. And they're in pain now. Whoever this is, they know that moving forward, that there's boundaries here between you and them because they behaved very <laughs> in a very immature way or they, there's something around children for some of you that they did. And it looks like they're waiting on something to come in. Whatever this has to do with it, they're waiting for is something that's chaotic or that they've been working on or there's something about balancing something. They're waiting for balance of two energies to, to happen. When they look back on the memories of you and them, they feel they feel like they missed their wish fulfillment. They're looking at something where they... It's like if this person treated you very poorly and they treated you like the way that this looks, they put you in third parties, they were chasing after things that didn't really matter, they were doing things that were... Um, where they were just always looking for a good time with other people. Um, for some reason now, it's like when they're reflecting, they're looking back and they're seeing you in actuality. They're looking at you and seeing the way that you actually were whenever you were with them. And it's like they feel like they juggled their ten of cups. This person could be... A king of swords, so this could be an air sign, so an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Whoever this is is somebody who's in a very negative mindset. There's something here on this card about witchcraft, so this person could have been getting readings on you, or they could have sent something towards you that was very negative, even if they didn't sit down and write out a spell or do black magic or something like that. They were doing something where they were focused on you in a negative way and being very hateful. And they could be having some sort of... Um, an emotional storm or having a tower and then feeling like desolate or at some horrible loss about whatever it is that they did to you. Whoever this is, it's like they had a lot of energy around them, whether they put you in third parties or gossiped about you with other people or did something in a community of people in order to open up opportunities for themselves. And they did this at your expense. And the thing that's showing up here is them being immature and in lustful energy, but still expecting to be given a gift. Like if, like if karma isn't for them too, or if the universe is going to bless whatever it is that they were doing. They were still behaving in a way where they were not, they were operating out of their shadow side and still expecting to be handed something from the divine. So for some of you, this person has a lot of money or there's somebody who's very financially stable and they expected that they could move in this way and continue to, to feel like they were on top of the world. For some of you, this person did something because they were chasing money. And this energy that they're waiting to balance, it's like now they're feeling like they're longing for whatever this is, longing for an ending, longing for balance, longing for change, and they feel like they can't man manifest it. For some of you, this person feels like they have everything that they need to be able to manifest whatever it is that they want. But they are still, it's like they're missing something, but they aren't seeing what piece it is that they're missing. And so they're coming to a breaking point because they're, they're trying to, from here, it looks like they are trying to turn, turn something into something else. And it's like they're waiting on that. But they're unable to do this and they're at a breaking point. And this breaking point could cause them to come forward and communicate with you. They could be making a rash decision to communicate very quickly. And whoever this is is somebody that you possibly lived with at one point or there's something about family or there's a tower here for whatever this family situation is. This could have to do with 
parenthood or a pregnancy, but there's something that's unexpected that's coming in around a home or something to do where the, where the foundation is, everything is broken down to the very base of whatever the foundation was built on. There's healing that's coming in for a partnership or some sort of a collaboration. Or this person goes through a lot of pain and, and loss and then it's like then they want to heal something with you and collaborate again. The realization that happens here has something to do with love. So they go through something that looks like a dark night of the soul, but I don't, I don't see Virgo or the Hermit card here, but this is like they're going through an abrupt loss. Um, so this could be a death, this could be a loss of money, this could be a loss of a job, this could be a loss of a home, but there's something very significant, whatever it is that's here, that they're, this person's gonna be losing and then it's like that causes <laughs> them to realize what's important. And that could be what this overwhelm of emotions is. Whoever it is that this person was lusting after, or whether this was money or a person, they now feel trapped with whatever this energy is. So if they're with somebody, they feel trapped in that connection. If they were lusting after something material, they feel like they trap themselves by doing that, by, <laughs> by operating from a place where they were being an opportunist and looking looking at a way to line their pockets instead of paying attention to what was important. They want to move out of this hopeless energy. There's <laughs> um, the chariot is here. They feel like everything is falling apart. And there's a change here with this chariot card. And there's a truth here that's being exposed. So whatever fantasy or whatever daydream that this person is focused on, there's something that's going to be exposed about that. For some of you, what this is saying is the way that this person operated in order to get something that they were lusting after, whether this was money or a person, it's like this is going to be seen it's going to be revealed. There's some truth that's going to be revealed around this. So if there's... I'm sorry. There's another thing that I want to say. There's something about them seeing this now. So if this person is experiencing loss or grief or depression or pain of some kind, they're going to be coming towards you to communicate a truth to you. For some of you, there's something about future faking, so this person could come back in and try to apologize to you and tell you, you know, <laughs> that they <coughs> didn't want, didn't mean for these things to work out this way, and they were only doing something because of, you know, whatever the reason <coughs> to gain something. And Whoever this is, they're going to expect you to take them back. They're going to expect that they are coming in and they're being honest with you. So they they are going to expect you to listen to them and just say everything's okay. Okay, let's get back together after they did whatever it is that they did to you. Um, show me more. Why are both the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine out here? What is this? So... There it is. Whoever this is, is in a commitment of some sort, whether this has to do with family or a friendship or a lover or something to do that's tying them to finances. There's something that's karmic in all of this that this person is tied to and it's giving them anxiety. They're having sleepless nights. They feel like they were very foolish. They tried to start a new beginning with somebody There's or with something. There's something where this person tried to walk away from you and they did something that was karmic. Whatever it is that this person has done, this is something that 
they it's like whoever this this person is this is a divine feminine and a divine masculine and there's a karmic situation that got involved here with whatever this is this person feels very foolish whatever delusions they have been attached to they're seeing those things now and it's giving them anxiety they could want to come towards you because now they feel like whatever they were lusting after didn't work out for them correctly and they feel stupid um the sun is at the bottom of this deck so this person is seeing something very clearly there could be something about the past for some of you, this person has done this a lot, and if they haven't done this a lot in this lifetime, they did this a lot in a past life is what I'm seeing here. And this person is somebody who's constantly in and out of your energy. They are constantly doing something, and because for some of you, this was your counterpart, you let them back in your space all the time. Like, you know that this person is meant for something else, just like you know you are meant for something else. So you may continue to deal with whoever this is, but... Um, there's going to be a change here and there's a change to something r around time. So for some of you, what I'm getting, what I was getting before I even pulled this is there's something about you, whatever timeline you are on, that's being lit on fire. You're going to be paired with somebody else or something else is being brought in for you because this person, instead of choosing you or choosing whatever path they were supposed to come here and work together with you they chose a karmic or they chose something karmic or they did something where now this person can't be in your energy anymore this isn't somebody who's trustworthy and there's a change that's coming in <laughs> this change is going to bring in good fortune and it's also going to balance the karmic scale and there it is temperance so this is divine timing. This is the divine. This is the divine mixing something. It's mixing two things together. So there could be a Sagittarius involved in whatever this is. Or um, this is the divine mixing something new together and making you something new. And you're going to be given a path right now where you're sent out on your own for somebody else. Because this person that was supposed to be your match, they chose incorrectly. So, I'm going to pull a couple of cards from this deck and then I'll go ahead and close out the reading. Heart fog, commitment, and stress. So, yeah, this person, they messed up your whatever promise that was here for you and them in the very beginning. Whenever he, we were beings of light and they made this promise to you and you're supposed to come here and do something together on whatever journey you're supposed to be on, this person got here in the 3D and picked a karmic path and now there's something that they've screwed up and they're in a lot of stress about it. If they are paired with somebody else, whoever, if this is a karmic person, the person that they're with, they're experiencing a lot of turbulence and arguments with this person and they're very, very stressed out. This person is confused about why they did what they did. <laughs> to you and they're seeing that there's like it's like now they're seeing you very clearly and they could be they could be for some of you they're comparing you and this person that they're with or comparing the feelings that they have right now to the way that they were feeling before when they were doing something that was very karmic to you and they're trying to figure out why they did it in the first place this person could have a very blocked off heart chakra and that's part of the reason that they behaved in this way um But they're worried now about a commitment that they have put themselves in. And there's some sort of um, <laughs> turbulence or stress or something. Oh, wow. Um, so Twin Flames and Past Lives has come out. So this person has done this to you over the course of several lifetimes <laughs> or a lot of the time in this lifetime. So this is somebody that you were paired with, with... The Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, and this person just came here and they screwed up. They messed up the plan, they messed up their path, and so you're going to be taken out of their energy. Um, you and them could both be at a place where you're thinking about how much pain has been involved in this situation. So that's what I'm getting with this um, mirroring, and it's... 
It's something for whatever reason. It could be because the cycle is closing. Maybe there's some event that's about to happen because time came out here where it was like um, somebody's waiting for something. So both of you could be waiting for the ending of something or something specific is about to happen. There could be like a calendar date that you have circled where something is going to be happening. And it's bringing an ending to the cycle. So both, both you and this person are reflecting on whatever it is that's gone on here. And for some of you, if you believe in past lives and twin flames, this is somebody that is your twin flame that they've done this to you over the course of several lifetimes. Um, and this is like a repeated <coughs> pattern. This is a karmic lesson that they don't ever learn for some reason. Um, for some of you, this is something that they've done several times in this lifetime. Empress, the Six of Swords, and the Moon has come out. So someone is in deep emotions about whatever delusions they've been in, and they see that you are, they see that you're the Empress. They see that you were paired with them. They see that you're there. You're somebody who's very abundant, and <laughs> they're trying to figure out what it is, what, like why they juggled this energy. They see you moving on into calmer waters. You could be committing to somebody else. And there's some denial that they have been in or there's a, a delusion that they have been in. And it's like th this pattern where they've done something over and over and over again. It's like this is breaking. They're coming out of the clouds. There's this deceptive energy that they have been in in a repeated cycle where that you're having like deja vu with this person. There's something about them coming out of this fog. And this could cause them to go into a very deep state of depression or be very in their emotions about whatever this is. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, perspective, cloudy judgment, and bitterness. So this person, they, they're getting out of their heart fog and they're getting to a place of a cleared head space. And <laughs> illusions is on this card. So, um, there's something here too. Whoever this is, even though they know that they have done something really terrible to you, and <laughs> they know that you're better off <coughs> walking away from them, it's like this person ends up bitter. And they could feel, um, they could be like clinging to you or clinging to the past or clinging to trying to have a new beginning with you. And it doesn't look like this is something that you're going to be dealing with. When they come towards you with whatever this is, this could be shocking to you. Um, this could be something that comes out of nowhere or is very unexpected. And you could just put space between you and them. So... What is the advice here? <coughs> yeah, they feel like you're the only one for them. And they're conflicted about whatever it is that they've done. This person could have intimacy issues. This person could be somebody who is very uncomfortable with um, certain parts of themselves. And they could be very hot and cold with you. Um, advice here is to look ahead and move on because you're being gifted a new lover there's somebody else that you're going to be paired with whoever this is has messed this up and there's somebody that you're going to be paired with that's your soulmate so there are we have lots of soulmates and it's like this person this journey has been so hard with them because they were your twin this person is somebody who's done something to you over the course of several lifetimes or several times over this one and you're being moved into calmer waters and you're going to be paired with somebody new so i'm going to go ahead and end the reading there i hope this message is helpful thank you